Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, we know, right? Yes. Yeah, politician, right? <laughs> Thank you. What happened? Well, nothing. I just feel good. Back to yeah, yeah. 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 All right. I helped my golf game, you know. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> hey, by the way, your back should be corrected now. Yeah, I, I do feel good. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. Skeptics refuse to test for a million dollars, and uh, James Randi has this uh, thing where it, you know a million dollar prize if you can prove uh, you know something uh, paranormal. So I came up here and I was hanging out around at the Devil's Chair because the Devil's Chair here in Lake Helen, Casadega area. So uh, I was hanging around trying to figure out some things, get some vibes, you know, do whatever you can and. I jumped through every hoop and at the very end of it when I say, okay, now bring out, this is like 2008, bring out your million dollars, I'll go in there, you can put me in a Faraday cage, whatever, we're going to take a tape recorder, we're going to, and I'm going to get this uh, EVP and it's going to be just like you and me talking yeah. and it's not going to be some kind of gar garbled anything no, and real. boom, bring, surround me with scientists, whatever you want yeah. and we're going to pull it out and it's going to work and then they just back down, they just took the money and ran. But, took, a lot of, took a lot of balls for you to do that, man. Right, and I, I was ready. And uh, there were a lot of people who said they'll never do it. and uh, <laughs> Because they, they do it with some, like, they'll just find some tarot card reader or something off the street or something. They won't go for someone who's actually, who's going to do something paranormal? It's somebody who's trying. Yeah, they're afraid. Right. My challenge to James Randi, yeah. the million dollar challenge, is I'll get together three or four of these people. We'll find a cold case person that's missing, yeah. and we'll find it. And then he'll give us the million dollars. It's that simple. If he doesn't, then we know that's a total scam. Yeah. Because wouldn't that be paranormal if you got a bunch of psychics in a room and they all said, go over here and you're going to find the missing person. And you go over there and find them. That will turn a lot of heads. Honestly. Right. Yeah. And I totally believe it's it can happen because it has happened. And uh, if I get three or four of these guys all working on the same case, I think it's going to be a slam yeah. dunk. That hear, we'll that, make it hear that, James? So James Randi, quit running from David Koenig, the Professor Slum King. Get your million bucks, put it in a bag. We're going to take it from you. <laughs> it's going to be easy. You can slip and slide around. But I think that uh, a group of psychics who find a missing person, probably deceased, where they're at, uh, without the help of the police or anybody, just boom, that you owe us a million bucks and you need to just knock it off, bring the money, we're going to take it home. I've been ghost hunting. I don't really cool. care about random spirits. I like to bring in spirits that we know. I don't want to stir yeah. up any no. stuff. I could tell you about when we moved into the house we live in. Um, we got it at a greatly reduced price because it was stigmatized. None of the neighborhood kids would step foot in the house. <laughs> <laughs> but um, my youngest daughter is now 22, and she's highly sensitive. And she kept saying the one bathroom we had was haunted, and she wouldn't step foot in. To this day, as a grown girl, she will not step foot in the one oh bathroom. My goodness. There's nothing going on there. I've had asked how many people staying there. There's nothing happening. Hmm. <laughs> um, oh, man. So, been in lots of stands with the trumpets of going around the room. Uh, a lot of paranormal things. The first thing in 63, in practice, I saw a beautiful yellow around somebody. Like their aura? Well, I didn't know what it was in 63. Nobody knew very much about any of this. Yeah, so now I, you would say it was like an aura of someone. Yeah. yeah. So then I started researching and uh, that and come to find out that where the energy was coming from was to her liver. She had and, problems with um, the liver? She eventually died of cancer of the liver. Oh, my I, God. I, de I found it before the MDs found it. Time and time that 
together now. We're trying to get the two fields to work together. They're walking under street lights and having those turn off and on at will when they walk under them. They can't wear watches. Their hair dryers, forget it. They're blowing those out right away when they go to turn them on in the morning. Any electrical appliance is at risk. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you were abducted by aliens. I was. That's crazy, huh? It is crazy. Yeah. It's, it's wild. That yes. scares me. <laughs> <laughs> it scares a lot of people. Yeah. Um, two and a half. I was standing on a sofa in a, a kind of a little living room area. Mm -hmm. My grandfather was taking care of me, and I think this is why the memory is so clear. I had never been without my mom. Yeah. She was in the hospital giving birth to my sister. And so pretty soon, here came a little figure about this high and a dark hooded kind of a cape type thing or gown and walked up to the bed and until he got right up next to me I couldn't see him but when he raised his head he had the big dark eyes and he was carrying a tool I thought it was a light because it had a light on the tip yeah. so he held his other hand out and the sleeve was long like a gown mm. like a little monk yeah. and he said come with me, but I don't think he was talking. So I got right up and went with him, like, oh, yay, no bed. Oh, my God. Right Where'd you end up? Paper. In some sort of metal room with benches. And there were other children there, but I didn't know any of them. Are they looking at you, or are they, like, mm -mm. they were just looking at the ground? No, look at, just looking straight ahead. Oh, wow. And so I, that part I have not gone over. I Saucer, I believe, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so then I was put into what I call the breeding program yeah. and had missing pregnancies. Mm. Um, yeah, that, make, that name makes sense. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, I could identify my entity in a lineup. Really? No one else could. Wow. We've drawn him, and there's just a I was, about, I was just about to say, you should draw him. Yeah. I have a drawing. I should put it out uh, there, yeah. Could you draw right now? No. No? I'm a yeah, terrible I don't want, artist. I don't want you to, yeah. I'm a terrible <laughs> artist, yeah. yeah. I kind of want you to describe it to me so I can draw it, because I'm all right at drawing. Well, take a gray, your typical gray, Yeah. with the gray thick eyes, almost no nose and no mouth. Like slits maybe for yeah, nose yeah. or no? Uh, minute, minute. Like Lord Voldemort? <laughs> yeah. He's come after me to pick me up, my escort, from age yeah. two and a half. Same one. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, the um, one that I call the doctor mm -hmm. looks more like an insect. Okay. And he's highly So do you think they're maybe like different? species or different yes yeah maybe the my lab one is more reptilian okay yeah you heard of skinwalker ranch yes yeah i was yes. doing research on that bigelow owns it now. yeah joe rogan went in there and they try to kick him out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they are highly secretive he I might have some i don't think there, he cares but... though he probably doesn't no he doesn't care. Mm -mm. He's just like, I want to see it. I don't care what the cost. Yeah, and I'll pay it. for it. Yeah. You can't pay the skin no, water. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's insane. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it truly is. <laughs>